James Siegman here at the Tiles Performance Institute. I want to talk to you about judging different lies and how it affects club selection because it's not the same. And one of my pet peeves as a coach is when I see one of my students, maybe they're taking a cart, leave their cart with one club in their putter and somehow think that from 30 yards away they're going to pull the right club. Okay, so I have about a 30 yard shot here, somewhat short sided out of the fairway. This ball is going to spin and there's no reason not to to hit the easy shot, which is the 60 degree wedge. So throw the sand wedge away, normal trajectory 54. Okay, you think that would be a 60 degree wedge also from the rough, but that's where you're wrong. That's where you're making a mistake. Think about this. If the ball was in the rough, but laying on the ground, pressed against the turf, then it's a 60. But if I happen to have one somewhat teed up in the rough with air under the ball, the club is gonna slide under the ball really easy. It's easy to hit that 60 with all that loft high on the face, and then that's where the ball goes like two thirds as far as what you're expecting. So when I'm working with one of the tour players that I coach, when we see a, uh, a lie in the rough with air under the ball, we usually defer down a club. So I'm gonna go from 60 to 54, and trust me on this one, the 54 with this slide is gonna come out plenty soft. And I think 60 is a mistake all day. If you need to, you can always open the face a bit more, but teed up's definitely a 54. And you can see that that actually launched just as high as the 60 did out of the fairway. So do yourself a favor, don't make the mistake that you think from 30 yards away, you can pull out one club come over it without judging your lie because you have to determine what the lie is before you pick the club and not vice versa, especially if you're laying in the rough. All right, so be smart, take all your chipping clubs with you when you walk up to your ball.